Tonight we're going to make a quick and delicious side dish using the Cook's Essentials air fryer and some baby medley potatoes. This is a nice variety of purple, red, and white mini potatoes and they're nice and fresh. I just soaked the bag in a bowl of water and I'm going to use some butter and some dill weed and a little bit of Pam and we're going to make a nice smashed potato side dish. All right, first of all, I have the air fryer ready to go. I'm going to cut the bag open and toss the potatoes into the air fryer. Now just to give you an idea, these cover the bottom and they're all going to get exposed to the air frying unit on the top of Cook's Essentials. So I'm going to take some Pam olive oil spray and just lightly coat them just to get the browning started as the potatoes start to roast. So let's get them in here. We're going to set it on the potato setting, which is 12 minutes at 400 degrees. Let's go. When the potatoes come out of the air fryer um, in 12 minutes, they will be nice and soft inside and we're going to smash them and we're going to add some butter and dill wheat and brown them up again inside the Cook's Essentials air fryer. All right, we'll be back in 12 minutes. While the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to take about a half a stick of butter and melt it in the microwave in a measuring cup. All right, the air fryer has stopped. The potatoes are nicely browning up here. I'm just going to take a test here and see if we can stab them with a knife. So they're nice and soft inside, a little bit crispy on the skins. Now we're going to go to the next step. We're going to pour them into a bowl so we can work with them. We'll turn that to the air fryer. Now we're going to take some of these potatoes, put them out on a cutting board here. And I'm sure we can't do all of them at once, but we're going to get them started. A nice variety of the colors that we have, the red and purple and white. Okay, now these are pretty tiny. 12 minutes was perfect time for that. If you have a larger potato, you can always uh, quarter them or cut them in half and adjust the cooking time. Now, what I want to do is separate them a little bit so that we can smash them. Now take a small glass, one that has a decent sized bottom, a little bit bigger than the potato, and we're just going to rub some butter on the bottom of this so it's nice and slippery. We don't want anything to stick. You can do this while they're hot if you want to. It's nice to keep them going being warm. And we just want to crush that potato enough to allow us to put some seasoning right inside. So let's just press down. You can hear them pop. And they're steaming. So you see different colors popping out here from the inside. Try not to let it fall apart. It may happen, but if you can keep them in one piece, it makes a much nicer presentation when you put them on the table. See how nicely they crush? This is fun. Okay. Now I took a mount here that will just about cover the bottom of the air fryer when we put them back in. So, take a nice close look. They're kind of thin. They're hot yet, but they're kind of thin. They all have openings through the skin. So, get a pot over here and we're going to fill the container again. So, take all this little smashed potatoes, try to keep them in one piece and place them back into the air fryer. I'm 
Okay, now I said that I was going to microwave some butter and melt that, and I did. So let's get that out of the microwave. This was a half a stick of butter, and you can see how these look inside here. I'm just going to drizzle the butter over top. And some will drip down into the bottom of this container, and that's okay. We can reuse some of that in the next batch. Okay, so they're lightly covered with some butter for good flavor. And I'm going to take some dill weed and sprinkle that on top too. I think that's a good combination with potatoes. It gives that nice little green and it sticks to it with the butter. All right, we're going to put this back in the air fryer and we're going to brown those potatoes. So we'll go back to the potato button. We're going to put the potatoes back in on the potato um, preset, which is 400 degrees, but we're going to change the time this time to about four minutes because we just want to crisp up the edge and it's going to have the nice buttery coating on there. And we'll open that up in four minutes. All right, let's take these out. They're sizzling. Check it out. They're sizzling and steaming, and they have a nice crispy edge on top now. So we'll put these out on a serving plate. Right, let's get them out carefully. I think all the colors make it look really interesting and delicious. Nice to have a nice purple potato in there every once in a while. And yes, most of the butter has dripped through to the bottom. But look at the nice golden brown colored skins we have here. So nice. Now we can add toppings if you'd like to. What I'm going to do here is take a little more of this melted butter, drizzle it on. Wow, yummy. And then we're going to add a little bit more dill. Sprinkle that on. And what's your favorite topping on a nice potato? To me, sour cream does it. A little bit of sour cream goes on top. There's a nice delicious side dish to serve with your main course. And I hope you get a chance to try this recipe in your air fryer for baby smashed potatoes with butter and dill and topped with sour cream. Thanks for watching.